Hello, Hello we're, we're Moss Charmley, and today we're going to show you how to use the reference image tool in Krita. It's a really great tool, and we just really want to show you how to use it. It's the one that looks like a little pushpin on the left-hand side of your screen. Um, but before we begin, we just wanted to make sure uh, all, of, all of the things were available to you if you're brand new to Krita. Um, so uh, first thing we want to do is make sure your reference images can be seen. So if you go up to the toolbar at the top and you go to view and then uh, go all the way down to show reference images and make sure that little check mark is checked. And then you'll be able to see your reference images. <laughs> okay. And see how when you uh, unclick it, you don't see it. So it's actually very useful within it once you have um, the reference images in it that you can do that. So second thing we want to make sure uh, you have going on is uh, your tool options docker. We already have it uh, up on the left hand side, um, but it, just in case you're brand new and you don't have it going on, just uh, go to the toolbar at the top, go to settings and then to dockers and then go all the way down to the bottom to tool options and make sure that little arrow is checked. See how that uh, goes if you uncheck it. So if you check it, there it goes, it appears. So you're definitely gonna need your tool options docker. Okay, so to begin, you have um, a little plus symbol on your tool options docker, and this adds a reference image, uh, which is pretty self-explanatory. That's really useful, so. If you click that, you can then add your reference image. And we already have a folder ready made, ready to go. Uh, so that we really recommend uh, making a folder for your reference images. And um, we have some made for specific things like little pose, poseable dolls. Um, so that's really handy. So this is where your Krita references, you know, will also live. <laughs> so it's really cool. So uh, click one, we're gonna click a palette and it'll pop up. And then you can move it to the side, you can move it anywhere, which is very handy. Uh, and then uh, we're going to show you. Uh, if the you, next one, the next which one. is the, going to be paste reference image from the system's clipboard. So this is used when you've either copied a image from the web or you've already got an image that you're working on and you just copied it. So it will actually insert it from an actual, the clipboard. So um, when this window comes up, it's basically asking you what color profile you want to use. It's easy just to go with the sRGB of the web. So it kind of just creates a uniformity. Press OK, and now you've got a new image. You can move it wherever you want once you've dragged it. You can also change the size if you get one of these little nodes, and you can put it where you want so it's not in the way. So yeah. The next one is actually going to be the little folder. That's going to be for load reference image set. Now the weird thing is, is that an image set is something that solely resides in this, in Krita for this tool. So um, in order to load one, you have to make one um, because it's proprietary to Krita. So the first thing you really need to do if this is brand new is you're gonna actually have to make one. So the one that, the little symbol that has a disc is basically exporting reference image set. It's telling you, or basically this is the option for you to save this entire set that we have actually put on this image. Um, it's asking you to export it. So if you export it, what's gonna happen is, is you're gonna have, you know, uh, the folder where it's going to be saved, but you actually have to save it as something. So we're gonna call it test five because I think we have a few of them. We've done this a few times. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's going to be saved in this folder, which is the Creator References. Now, it's going to be saved as a .krf format. Uh, that format is proprietary to Krita. Um, please make sure that when you when you save it, that you know what it is, because sometimes it's going to be saved and it's going to have these strange icons that aren't really going to show you what they are. So say you have something, you have an actual set saved as trees or palettes or any of that, you're going to want to make sure you know what it is. But in this case, we're just showing you how it's used. Now, these are big images, so it may take a little bit of time to save them. Um, and they're going to be saved in the in the actual way and with the orientation that they're in 
um, it for this um, painting or this illustration you're creating. So once it's been saved, now we can show how you can load one. So when you load one, it's gonna actually bring up only the options that Krita can see. Now we saved it as test KR5, right? Or yeah, test, test five. five. And it's a KRF format. So we're gonna open it up just to show that you can do this. Now, what's weird is they're gonna be dupes of what we had, right? So that's kind of weird, but this is where we're gonna show you how you can delete them. So if you make sure you're on your tool, you know, and select that, select one of them, right? So you've got your little nodes. You can press delete on your keyboard, right? Select that, delete that. Don't want this one either. Nope, not this one. <laughs> and I don't want this one. And there we go. So now it's actually deleted. So you don't have to worry about, you know, what's going yeah, on. Yeah, so you just so, press the delete yeah. key on your keyboard to just delete them if, exactly. you, if you don't want any specific. There are different sets that we'll go into later, like if you have specific ones set up, you know, you can actually call these up for multiple paintings if you're working on different paintings. you got different palettes, things like that. So just to let you know. Yeah, also, uh, so uh, when you start using this, uh, if you click on a reference, mm -hmm. it'll give you, in the Tool Options Docker, it'll give you um, options here, like opacity. Mm -hmm. So in this case, you can see the opacity is full up, and you can see what would what was used in the drawing mm -hmm. as a reference. And when you move the opacity down, mm -hmm. you can easily, you know, more easily trace over it. So yeah. that is really helpful for for drawing. And like in in the example of another image mm -hmm. that we were using, and um, these layers don't affect the layers of your oh, actual image. That is so, so important to right, know. This isn't actually a part of your image's layer set. Yeah. So it's in a, on its own little world. Yes. In a way. <laughs> when you're when you're drawing, make sure also that um, when you don't want to use references, make sure to toggle to the brush tool up at the top, yeah. and then you can just start drawing. Uh, drawing. Whatever, yeah. So and then when you want to uh, interact with your references, make sure you press the um, the little uh, pin pin button for the <laughs> reference image tool, yeah. and then you can uh, use use that for your reference images again. Yeah. So if you want to interact with that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, make sure to toggle back and forth, and and it's yeah, it's a it's a great thing to really know that you can use they you can use those, and they they actually don't live in your in your um File in your system. in your layers of your actual art. So that's really really cool. Yeah. So in in this example, we have another uh, reference image hidden in here, and the opacity's down, and you can bring the opacity back up, and then you can it's see well what was used. used. Mm -hmm. That's really really cool. Exactly. Also, you can select these images and say you want something where you're like, you know, I'd rather that be black and white. You can decrease the saturation so you can just see values in the image, you know? And that's very helpful if you're doing something where you're like, okay, I'm going to use this as an actual just idea, but I want to know where the darkest are and the lightest are. So that's just an option you can do. You can also, you know, make, you can also have two of these. You can have one that'll be in color, one that, you know, is actually in black and white so that you can know where your values are and, and know where your colors are going to be. And that also brings in the fact that these reference images, you can actually pull color from it. So if you pull up the eyedropper, look at that. You can actually take any color from any of these images. And that's why there's actually color palettes up here. So that, you know, say you don't want to use an actual palette or you're just you're like, I'd rather have mine that I've created and you can just, you know, it's easier sometimes if you just have your palette right next to where you're painting sometimes, you know, anyways, for some people. Very handy. Just an idea. <laughs> just an idea. So there we go. Um, the one thing we definitely have to get into is going to be uh, the actual, like, keep aspect ratio. This is weird because sometimes if you actually Turn that off like that yeah. and just unclick Un it. Yeah, check it. Right? Yeah. And you move, you get these nodes, you can do give it all the wobbles. So it's all like, ooh, it's all just, it basically scrunches it, twists it, does it, whatever, right? Kind of warps it. Yeah, exactly. So, so if, but you, if don't you don't like, like it, it yeah. yeah. Edit, under resize, no problem. And then make sure that's uh, keep right? the aspect yeah. ratio so it doesn't get all warpy. Definitely. So we have one final thing, which is really strange, and this is the save location. Now this is really interesting and specific. If you notice, there's only one option that's able to be clicked. Well, with this image, this image was created on a different computer. 
So how all of these reference images were saved was as an embedded you know, part of the Krita file. And that's what this means. Basically, these reference images become part of this file in Krita, this painting, in other words, this illustration, whatever. Um, there is one drawback to this as it, as it being embedded into Krita. It will increase your file size. So if you're worried about your, your files being really big, um, you, you might want to actually use the other option. But we'll get to that in a bit. Um, because this image was created in a different computer, the link to image option isn't here. But in, in a different image, a different, you know, on this, this image with this computer, you can select link to image. And the reason is this image resides in a file on this specific computer. Right? Yeah, because the other image wasn't even made on that computer. No, it wasn't even a part of it. doesn't yeah. even know where it came from. It actually becomes a part of the illustration, the painting. So, yeah, anyways, yeah. just wanted to really make sure everybody knew what that was. We also wanted to make sure, um, too, that you, when you get an image in here, that you uh, also know how to move it around and stuff. Yeah. So uh, if you uh, click on the sides here, you can shrink and expand it, uh, turn it. It has a little option here to turn it and on any corner. Mm -hmm. uh, if you right click, it'll give you the option to rotate and uh, mirror and you can uh, reset. So if you want to rotate it, you can. You know, if you want to mirror it, you can. It's actually very handy. So uh, if you also uh, maybe want to send it back and Mm -hmm. All that, that's actually very handy to use as well. Mm -hmm. So it's really quite neat. So if you ever want to use those, that's mm -hmm. very handy. So you can some, organize them yeah, in a you different can, way. Yeah, right? you set it, so, yeah. set it back, set it on top. Mm -hmm. So very handy just to make sure. Yeah, <laughs> pretty neat. Yeah. So. Oh, also, if you want to move multiples, uh, hold down shift. You click one, hold down shift, and uh, hold, click another one. And you can... Uh, Move multiples. Drag yeah. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah drag them. You gotta multiple. like drag them, and there See? you go. You can move there you around. go. It's so, exciting. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's exciting yeah. times. It's just these. It gives you so many different options to really customize where you want all your references, and it, it's easier for you to organize them too. So that's kind of nice. But yeah. Just wanted to. Yeah. Let everybody know there's a lot of possibilities with reference images. So don't limit yourself by thinking that, you know, some things may be cheating, some things may not be, you know, something it's about creating art. So, um, you know, if you're doing it by your hand and you, you've got a vision, go for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This could really be helpful and help you out. Yeah. And uh, just use your imagination with how you can use it. Mm -hmm. Creed has got a lot of amazing tools and this just happens to be one of them. You know, so we hope this helps out anybody who doesn't know how to use this tool on Krita. Um, so, yeah, I think we went through it all. Yeah, yeah I think okay. so, too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Moss Charm, Moss Charm me out. Me out. <laughs> Bye. Have fun arting, everyone. <laughs>